Do you mind slowing down a bit? Girl, calm down. I know how to drive. I'm calm. I'm really, it's just you've been driving in two lanes for about 30 seconds now, just so you know. What? Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to text for you? No, no, I'm just trying to find music. Just hold on. I'm holding on, trust me. There's a stop sign. There's a stop sign. Oh my god, is that a new Starbucks? Girl, you just ran that stop sign. What? I slowed down, and plus I need to get new brakes anyway, so I don't want to stop too much. I don't think that qualifies you to break the law. Yes, here we go, finally. All right, turn it up. Woo! Oh, hell no, I'm sorry, absolutely not. You are not responsible enough to be adding a musical element to this car ride. Hell no. Oh, what is your... Wait, look at me. You got something, like, right here? How about I just look in the mirror while you look at the road? No, you didn't get it yet. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Whatever. Whoa, oh my god, what is this guy doing? He just cut me off, you idiot. What, you piece of shit, dumbass driver. How many in your party? Come on, Jackie, there's two of us. We want the first row. Oh, fun, okay, so that line's just gonna be a little bit longer. Mom, it doesn't have to be the first row. Oh, Jackie, mommy wants you to have more fun with her than you did with dad, so we're going to the first row. Okay, just step behind those people right over there. Come on, Amberjack. Mom, I hate you. For the love of Davy Crockett, this line is so long. Excuse me, how many people are in your party? Oh, it's just the two of us, me and my friend. Okay, so my son and I can switch with you. Uh, no. <laughs> well, I can see you two are non-moms, which of course is a luxury at Disney World. Us moms that have the kids, it's a lot harder on us, so you might want to let us jump the line. Yeah, no, no, I I'm not letting you skip. You see, if you actually think about it, we pay more to be here since we got two adult tickets and you're an adult and a child, so. Well, that's because Disney knows how to accommodate parents, and I expect you to do the same. <laughs> no. This park used to be great before you millennials took it over. I'm pretty sure Disney is appreciative of anyone with a disposable income. <laughs> Grow up. Mom, stop being a Karen. Oh, hey kid, you wanna ride with us? Yes. Excuse me, how much longer until fireworks? Oh, Magic Kingdom fireworks start at 9 p.m. It's only 10.30 a.m. Yep, but we do have a parade that's about to start if you- Goodbye, come on, Amberjack. No, wait, I wanted to trade pins with them. <sighs> Why don't you choose someone else to trade with? Remember we had that conversation about cast members with gender neutral haircuts? We wanna stay away from them. Yeah, but they had a Kylo Ren pin. We're going to lunch. Mommy needs a Facebook break. Been on Facebook this whole time. Ahoy, we need two for lunch. Oh, wonderful. Do you have reservations with us today? Oh, no, but my son is a prince. <laughs> prince Amberjack. Oh, okay, I see. So our reservations are actually several months out, so we can't take any walk-ins. Okay, so I have to wait for fireworks. I can't eat here. What is one supposed to do at this park? I would be more than happy to try and help you find another dine. I don't want to walk somewhere. Mom, stop. Where is the magic? I thought it was supposed to be magical here. I'm going to Buzz Lightyear. Jackie, don't make me use the leash. Great work, let's keep up the hustle. Excuse me, Coach Cornelius? It's David? Okay, well I just noticed that my son has been sitting over here for a little while now and uh, it's been about three minutes and 45 seconds to be specific and I'm just wondering when we can get him back in. Right, he just came off, I gotta give him a rest, I gotta give other players a chance to play too. Okay, but whoops, how is he supposed to get scholarships when he's not on the field? There's six. Well, the soccer moms did warn me about this, so do you have Zelle or Venmo? What's it gonna take to get him back on the field? Name your price. That's not what this is. Okay, I think there's been a little bit of confusion. You see, my son is very experienced and skilled in FIFA, so he should be on the field. Come on! <sighs> no kidding, we can't get him off that thing. Right? And that just speaks to how dedicated and talented he is as a soccer player. So I know if that FIFA game wants him, you definitely need him. Ma'am, can you please go sit with the other parents? Can you not deprive my son of his future Olympic medal? Amberjack, you ready to go back in, buddy? No, I want to go home! Sorry, does that say $10 for one movie ticket? I remember the days when they were only 10 cents. Guess we gotta get popcorn with extra butter. Oh, no candy. I told you you should have got some at CVS before. What's taking so long? We got a movie. Good thing we got here an hour early. Oh, we're the first ones here. It's like we have our own personal movie theater. We can sit anywhere. Oh, wait, there's some kids in the back up in the dark. I hope they don't start vaping. I like to sit in the front. What do you mean we're too close? If we sit too far back, I won't be able to see. Who's got the curly fries? Am I right? Psst, excuse me. You should really turn your phone off. It's too bright. I don't think those kids are 17 years or older. I'm gonna go get an attendant. When are the lights gonna dim? Make sure you put your feet up so no one sits in front of you. What? Oh, I don't wear a mask, especially in a movie theater. <laughs> I just gotta go to the bathroom again before the movie starts. We didn't have any paper towels. So what I miss? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know we have a half hour. What movie are we seeing again? Oh, that preview is loud. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Oh, oh, hello? It's over? Are you gonna need a box for this? No, thanks. Was everything okay with your meal? Yeah, I just wasn't hungry. Gotcha, I'll be right back with your check. Wait. Check, unless you wanted to order something else. Wait, no, no, but I didn't actually eat anything. Right, that's why I asked if you wanted a box so you didn't lose all that food. Yeah, but I just told you I wasn't hungry, so that food's technically not mine. Okay, well, unless there was something extremely wrong with it, you still have to pay for it. But if I take it home, I'm just gonna throw it away and that's gonna waste food. I hear you, but if you leave it here, I'm gonna have to throw it away as well. It's just gonna be- Oh, don't even give me that. I'm sure there's someone in this restaurant that could eat that meal. 
Well, we make sure all the food that we serve is fresh. You wouldn't want someone else's reheated food, would you? No, absolutely not. Exactly. So what's your point? My point is that whether you take this food home or not, you are still responsible for the bill. <laughs> and if I take off running, what are you going to do? Ma'am, please don't do that. And she's gone. Wait, ma'am, watch out. I just can't believe you would actually do this to me again. There's just been too many lies, too much disrespect. You're not even nice to me. And you always criticize what I do for work, but you don't even have a job. You drive around that piece of shit that you call a car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be saying that about my car. Is that the only thing you heard me say? Do you realize how much I put into that car? All that time and love and energy? Exactly. Oh yeah? Well, would a piece of shit have a Pro XS center offset muffler or a GT350 chin spoiler? I don't think so. Well, why don't you just date your car then? Well, at least she gives me the drive and comfort and gets me to where I want to be in life. Good, then I hope she drives you right off the cliff. Don't worry, she's finally gone. Okay, but ma'am, I am just the receptionist, which means I do not have control over the doctor's schedule. I cannot make her go faster or slower. All I can do is call you back when she's ready. Okay, well, I'll wait five more minutes or I'm out of here. Yes, ma'am, but we will still be billing you for this appointment. Hi, I'm running a little late for my 3.30 appointment. The name is Angela. Okay, that's why we asked you to come 15 minutes early. The doctor will be with you in five minutes. <laughs> Not true. Excuse me, ma'am, I am with another patient. Thank you. What is she talking about? Ma'am, I cannot discuss the status of other patients with you. Please have a seat. I'll call you when the doctor is ready for you. Okay, Angela, you can come on back. Wow, I didn't even have to sit. She just got here. I've been here an hour. And Sam, you can come back as well. Thank you. All right, you can go in here. The doctor will be with you shortly. Does anyone know I'm in here? Hi, welcome to whatever donut shop this is. How can I help you? Hey, so I've never been here before. Do you have any recommendations? Of course, so a lot of people usually like to do a dozen or a half a dozen. <sighs> and my favorite are the sprinkle donuts. Hmm, okay, and how much are those? They're gonna be $1.13 each, but if, you if you're not ready to order, get out of line. Frequent customers are waiting. Ma'am, please be patient, okay? Anyway, do you know what you want? I'm just looking over everything, trying to decide what my husband would want. Sorry if I'm taking too long. Yeah, no problem, take your time. This is asinine. I have to go pick up my son who has a disability from his friend's house. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, ma'am, you're fine. <laughs> that lady's schedule is not your problem. I come here every single day. The least you could do is have my order ready and prioritize me. I've definitely never seen you before, and if I had, I would still wouldn't be preparing food for you in advance. Watch yourself, I'm a PTA member. Oh, I'll wait, I'll wait. I already know about the dangers of consuming drugs and alcohol. This assembly is for you, so I'll wait for you. Thank you, over here. Girls in the front, is this seating gonna be a problem? You should move now, it's your only warning. Boys and girls, we have a guest at our school today that is here to educate you on the dangers of consuming drugs and alcohol. Shh, boys. And let this serve as a reminder to all of you. We are not giggling or giving out high fives when she speaks about beer, huca, or cannabis. If you have a question, you may wait until the end of our ceremony. We are not interrupting our guest speaker. And boys and girls, please remember that we are not using slang words like faded, getting lit, or 420 friendly. And if I... Boys, you are already laughing. I can already tell this is going to be a problem for you. Please pack up and go to the library. You can write an essay instead. Boys and girls, we are taking this very seriously. Okay, today our guest speaker's name is Miss Molly. Oh, uh, were you sitting here today? Sorry, my friends and I always sit here, so I was just surprised. Um, I mean, I, I guess you can stay. So are you, like, new here? What? Oh my god, wait, my friend just said that she could see me. Stop. Oh my god, so creepy. I love you. I'm so sorry, my friends are so random. We're the weirdest group ever. But, um, your lunch smells interesting. Oh, your mom made it. See, my mom doesn't make me eat stuff like that. She lets me eat like Taco Bell or Subway or whatever I want. Not that I eat a lot. Oh my God, are you on Insta? You should totally add me. I'm trying to get to 10K before the end of the year. My handle is at live love Michaela. Daniel, D come here. Danny, give me a hug. Best friend, please. My friends are such bitches. They always try to get me to like eat. <laughs> so have you ever had a boyfriend before? Wait, you have one now? How do you have one and not me? All right, you folks can follow me right this way to your table. Oh, no, no, we'd actually prefer a booth. Well, um, actually we did have one just open up. It may not be totally ready yet, but you can follow me this way. Oh, thank God. All right, here we are. Thank you. Ooh, 
This table's all sticky. I need someone to come clean this. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. They probably haven't had time to come clean it. Give me one moment, okay? Why'd she sit us here if it wasn't ready? <laughs> sorry about that. Thank you so much for your patience. All right, so tonight your server's going to be- Hold on, I'm sorry. This section over here still has a little bit of wetness on it. Yep, that's because I just wiped it down, but no worries, I can get more paper towels. You know, I'm probably allergic to that spray she put on the table. All right, let me just get that extra spot. Excuse me. All right, so tonight we're going- Hey, do you know Caitlin? Is she working tonight? We want to sit in her section. Yeah, she is, but her section's actually really full right now. Oh, it's all right. She already knows our orders. We love her. No, I'm sorry. There she is. I see her. No offense or anything. I can take whoever's next. Sorry, I just got so thirsty in that long line. I had to grab a water. Oh, that's no problem. I can just bring it up. Oh, no, this water should be complimentary since I had to wait in that long line. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. We're actually weren't free, so if you do open anything from our store, I do have to bring it up. Well, I've never heard of that. My doctor told me that I have to stay hydrated, and I was in that line so long, I had to grab water. You're more than welcome to take anything from the store, you just have to pay for it. Fine, whatever, but I'm not paying for these crackers, they were disgusting. You opened those and tried them? Yeah, I sure did, and they were disgusting, so can you put them back? No, you have to pay for those too. What? Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It does help support us, and let's know what videos you guys want to see.